Well, it's blowing about 30. Gusts to 35 and 40. We're headed to the land of Nada. It's 11.41. The Mumbles man's already there. I got a buddy from Delaware who's already there. I'm on my way home from picking up some knives. I had to pick up a whole big block of 15 knives. I couldn't, I couldn't turn it down. So I'll be home in about 10 minutes, and then I gotta put my stuff in the beat in my truck and head to the land and I'll meet the Mumbles man. In this. We'll see how it goes. It's really rough. I'll show you when we get there. That's what the bay looks like. I told you it was cooking. Cooking hard too, boy. I land or not, it'll be worse than that. Well, it's cooking, I can tell you that. Look at them trees. I brought my other kayak out today. This is the first one I ever bought about 10 years ago. This one has Velcro top and Velcro sleeves. It's not watertight like the other one, but it's all I need today because I'm not going into water. It's too damn rough. Stand by. We're taking the Knox for the first spin in the land of Nada. I see the poor little horses are out getting their asses rubbed raw. Stand by. Got people lined up getting ready to go, it looks like. a person. 60 minutes, $80 a person. Jeez, those monsters. I didn't have no idea it was that expensive. Here come the jets. The jets are out. See any looters close by? There's a decent cut here, though. You see it? Not great, but okay. Let's get going. I'm not sure I showed you my new arm cuff from uh, Jeff, Jeff Hersky. I had them on my Explorer and my E-Track and my SE Pro. Pretty nice. Well, here today. First target for 15. I'm using two tones. I got the sensitivity at 20. Beach one. Can you see it? Right there.
That ticket. Man, a lot. Great balls of fire. I like it already. See what it reads. A one. Yeah, it reads a one on an ox. right now. Dead low tide. Solid nine. See no three. Must have been a small ticket fell no three. I don't see nothing in there but a crab. Take it up in, look. See there's a little cut right here. Another quarter, I guess. Yeah, 
see it right there. Only fast it. Seventeen, seventeen. Eighty bucks ahead. Can't beat that. Around to talk. I'm pretty sure I see the mumbles man behind me. We'll see how he's making out. the roundup yet but I got the cross I think it's a child's cross you know little it's stamp 14k on the little chain part and 14k on the back so it's a nice little cross and here's what held me up this morning here's what I had to pick up 15 knives and a pair of scissors all nice wood stuffs. these are steak knives and a pair of and a big set of chef's knives boner knives and a cleaver and then Denny picked these up for me. These are from the fellow who went hunting with us this morning. I should say went hunting with Denny. I'm going to sharpen them for him this afternoon. And he's going to pick them up on his way home to New Delaware tomorrow morning. He also has a real old K-Bar. A nice old K-Bar. But the blade is scratched up real bad. I'm going to work on that in a minute. So he can pick them up on his way home in the morning. And one pair of nice Ginger sewing scissors. And he had a pair of Woodstock scissors. I think I showed you them already. So I got to get busy. Stand by. I'll get to the roundup in a minute. Almost to the roundup. I got sidewinded for a few minutes. acorns. Indian. Hi, Indian. This weed right next to me is for... K-Bar. <laughs> Cleaned up nice. You move, sure. right away. What do you think, Big Ol' Jack? My son's coming over to help me with the pork chops. Okay.
found a bunch of these in the Ocean View area. I think they're plugs for maybe some kind of shell. But I'm not sure of that. I just think I remember something about being related to ammunition. Help, help me out if you all know what it is. Big brass plug. But I think that's what it is. Okay, see you tomorrow.